Ernie, looking at the report for November, um, it's down below growth neutral again. Our survey of supply managers in nine states stretching from North Dakota, Minnesota to Oklahoma and Arkansas in the south, Cindy, our survey, the overall index, which is a leading economic indicator, was down below growth neutral for the fourth time in the past five months. Of course, that's not good. And we, we hear a lots about the national economic rebound. But if you look at the national supply manager index, it's also weak. So what this is telling us is telling us that the manufacturing sector, those that produce uh, goods and goods for the global and the U.S. economy, that those numbers are not strong, and that's true for the nation. It's true for the region, and also we're seeing the value-added services somewhat weaker. Now, the numbers in this part of the country, as as opposed to previous months and years. The numbers in our region are weaker than the national numbers. So it was not a good survey for the month of November, but there were some, some glimmers of hope in our, in our November survey. Certainly confidence wasn't one of those. Oh, that's true. Our confidence index plummeted. It really went below, well below growth neutral after being above 60. Now the number stretches from zero to 100, anything above 50 we assume is growth, and of course 50 is growth neutral. It went well below growth neutral after being above 60 the previous month. And we can trace that to what's going on or not going on in Washington. That would be what's called the fiscal cliff, that record tax increase that we may or may not see uh, beginning January the 1st. And of course the record uh, spending cuts that are, uh, I, won't call, I shouldn't say record, but the significant spending cuts that are slated to go into effect and stretch across 2013. That combined with the uncertainty surrounding health care reform, lots of supply managers uh, reported in their comments that they're concerned about what happens to health care costs, what happens to health care coverage beginning January 1st, and that's having, that's having real impacts on their economic confidence, their business confidence going out three to six months. Looking at maybe some of the positive side, mm -hmm. uh, would we say that employment maybe for once was actually the positive? It was the positive, Cindy, but it inched up slightly above growth neutral. So what we're seeing is the, uh, even in the manufacturing sector and the value-added services, employment is just is holding its own. It, wasn't, it, was, it was not great news, but it was certainly better than other numbers in the report. For example, inventories were down, and of course that's uh, in, in anticipation of lo slower sales, slower growth in the months ahead. So the, uh, again, the business confidence was down, but then employment was up a bit. And, and, other, and other numbers were down. For example, the trade numbers, as you indicated, Cindy. Trade numbers were not good. And of course, that we trace that back to the global economy, which of course is not good. We're seeing Europe in a recession. We're seeing Canada slowing down. We're seeing uh, Asian nations still pretty good growth, but that's slowing. And that's slowing our new export. Export orders were down very significantly. And of course, imports were down. That we trace to a slower U.S. economy, a slower regional economy, because when you're growing slowly, you, into, you typically buy less, from, you buy less from other countries. So the import numbers were down also. So trade, the trade numbers were not good for the month of November. What else about the survey that sort of uh, caught your eye or caught your attention? Well, the, our, our inflation gauge, the prices of raw materials and supplies, that's a wholesale index, was down. Now that's a bit surprising, but when you ask the supply managers to look out another six months, ask them how much they expected uh, prices to grow at three percent. Now that's a pretty healthy growth over three three months uh, over six months. Of course, you multiply that by two, you get six percent growth. Well, that when we asked the same question back in June, it was only about a two percent over six months, four percent over. Uh, 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 the year. So we're seeing at least the anticipated price increases uh, escalating according to supply managers. And of course the Federal Reserve keeps their foot on the accelerator in, that, in terms of growing the, uh, that's easy money policy, growing the supply of money, pushing up prices, particularly commodity prices, even though they have come down at least the growth over the last few months. Also, it was surprising coming out of the survey, we asked the supply managers how much you expect 
wages to grow for your company over the next year. And of course, you'd like to see that in the three to four to five percent range. It was down to one third, one third, fully, almost one third, expect to see no wage increase over the next year. Now that, of course, is not good. And so while the economy continues to slug along, what's happening to workers, it's even worse. Workers are just not seeing a lot of wage growth. They're, and uh, they're seeing, of course, job uh, prospects, hiring prospects, not good. So the unemployment rate in the region, although it's much lower than, than the rest of the nation, is going to not be as, we're not going to see it move down like we'd like to see it. Uh, wages, again, are not going to grow like we'd like to see them. Some of the states in the survey, though, are actually doing quite well. There are three states that we could pick out doing better than the rest of the states, and that would be Iowa, and that's, that's a bit to do with uh, durable goods manufacturing, and you, it's, it's a bit hard to figure out why Iowa, but I, that's one factor. Uh, we're also seeing, of course, uh, growth in North Dakota and Oklahoma. No surprise there, connected to energy, connected to oil production. That's growing. And, and across the region, Cindy, one of the things that really I think is driving this, and it, we all have to wait and see when the government numbers come out much later, but it looks like uh, food production, that's an important industry for most states in this part of the country, again, from North Dakota, Minnesota, right down to Arkansas and Oklahoma, food production, not looking good. We're seeing, I won't say negative, but they're certainly declining business conditions. And also, Cindy, ethanol. Ethanol is important for, this, for these uh, states in the region. For example, you've got uh, as many as 20 and 30 plants in each of these states. That's probably an average, 20 to 30 plants. All of them are experiencing tough times right now with corn, corn prices up dramatically, oil prices coming down, that's squeezing the ethanol producers. That's an issue for the region. That's an issue for many of the states in the region.